Welcome to my channel. My name is Kenneth and Daya and enjoy the video. Good morning, folks. And today we're taking a morning walk because uh, yesterday was my mom's birthday celebration. And, you know, in every celebration there is food. So let's go burn those calories. Come on, Jimmy. And here's a short video clip of what happened yesterday. And I praise the Lord for Sarah here for coming to help. And one of the dishes we have prepared is pinik pican, of course, which is a traditional Filipino dish originating here in Mountain Province. And we prepare this by killing the live chicken, beating it to death, and we throw it into the to an open fire to burn the feathers and cleaning it afterwards and okay. boil it. And the celebration is incomplete without pinik pican. <laughs> Okay. Yay. I'm here in the woods and it's uh, windy up here and today we'll be talking about how to honor our parents and that's in a beat. All right, and maybe let's just um, take a seat for a while and uh, talk about the practical ways on how we can honor our parents. Anyway, that is very biblical. It says in Ephesians 6 2, honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise. It uh, should be an effort, it's a commitment. It should be very intentional to find ways on how you can actually relate with each other. And uh, I, I believe that whatever this division in the family, in a relationship, that is, uh, of course, the work of the enemy. So it is uh, his um, tactic to um, destroy it says also in the Bible that the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He's destroying every relationship, every family, so we should not allow that to happen. There are a lot of practical ways to honor our parents. And, uh, and in my case, I make sure that I get to spend time with her and uh, treat her, of course. Like uh, bring her to restaurants or sometimes I just buy some food for us to, uh, to share in the house, to share at home. And another practical way for us to be able to show or to honor our parents is to, to steam them both in public and private. This is just something that I learned. This is something new for me also. And um, uh, it is something that has to be done intentionally and uh, and with a commitment. For parents, I learned that it's important for them to know and see that they have impacted our lives. Of course, it's uh, it's their desire, of course, to see that uh, we have grown and in that uh, in that journey that we're there guiding us. So, how do we do that? For an example, is that we can um, tell them how grateful we are for uh, guiding us. Maybe you can have a cup of coffee and then you will um, tell, oh, Dad, you know what? I really appreciate uh, your, your teachings on saving money. Now that I'm an adult, I have realized that that is very important. I think it's a culture here in the Philippines that when our parents get uh, old, we invite them to stay with us. Even though we already have our own families, um, the other spouse actually understands. And uh, uh, oftentimes, we, we take care of them. So when they retire, we are not obliged to provide for their needs. But uh, no, it is something that uh, will make them also happy. Okay. It's like um, it's uh, it's payback time. 
fourth way to to show our honor to our parents is to seek also their wisdom, involving them in uh, in family decisions that will also very, be very helpful. So they will also feel that um, despite their age, you know, their thoughts or their wisdom is also still are still being considered. All right, so that's it for today, and I hope that we were all reminded to honor our parents. Because number one, that's an act of, ob of obedience to God. And number two, that's our way of showing our love to them. All right, till next time. Bye for now.